Yet another reason I should never go into Home Depot. Hey there, it's Tom, it's Tom Tech Show, and I went to Home Depot today. I mean, many of you know, and some of the other videos that I do kind of uh, kind of crafty things from time to time. I will. I built a you know birdcage stand over here. I recently rebuilt uh, my table, which is like. 300% more stable and everything. I had to shorten it because of the new chair, which is working perfectly. I love this new chair. It's very good. Did a video on building that from end to end. So you can see how long it's going to take, what parts are there. Um, if you want to happen to want to purchase one of these chairs, I make no money off of it. Just happened to be the one I bought. So, uh, but today I went to, uh, I heard that Ryobi was having a Kind of a sale or get a free tool kind of sale so um, i ran over to, to home depot and picked up if you the deal is if you purchase one of these uh kits it's a uh, two four amp hour batteries with the charger then you get a free tool and so uh, i got a little orbital jigsaw with mine so let's kind of open up the boxes here and see what's inside these things I guess this is an uh, unboxing but they were kind of running low a little bit on these things so we'll see if I can get the box open at least it doesn't say open this end so here we go come on okay all right here we go in the battery box here we open it up and we have this is the new charger style that they have um, hang on let me go grab the old style charger we can look at that okay I ran out and got my old style charger so here is the new charger it's very compact has a cable and it looks like they've moved the transformer part into a brick in the back of it so that what's on the wall which it still has screws spots on the bottom to hang this on the wall which is good because I hang mine on the wall just to make it convenient but you have the brick here where this old style charger is here and the other end of it is just the plug so they've taken the transformer from inside here moved it to a brick um, and just left the front part of the charger Nice and nice and small, so it doesn't take up much space. But I mean, if it's hanging on the wall, then I don't know if that that space is is much different. I mean, there's a lot of space where this one is on the wall. But anyway, so there's a, okay. So then let's pull out the first. Okay, so we just got just kind of dropped in here. There, there's no real extra kind of packaging in here. Um, that like cardboard that holds everything. It's just all kind of sh stuck in there. Uh, around the bag so there's a little carry bag that's in there so here's the battery um, this is a four amp hour battery so it's quite a bit larger um, it does have a little button that tells you how much power is in the battery this battery is basically dead I will need to charge it um, so there's that one uh, then we have battery number two so that's the thing you're getting two batteries big big bunch of power so this one probably has yeah the same very low power not much in there um so my original okay so if we check this to my other older batteries uh they're quite a bit bigger uh these are this is a p102 which is the one and a half hour uh battery and these are the new four amp hour batteries what's so the product of p197 so quite a bit big difference this does not have any little way for you to hit a button to tell you how much power is on it is left in it because this is the older cheaper inexpensive side i think i bought a kit that had these two in it and stuff so this is kind of what comes with the kit we can charge these with this charger with the new charger so either of these so the new charger can charge the old batteries the old charger can charge the new batteries so it's all extremely universal which is which is nice i mean that's you know that's the whole 
reason it's it's kind of like so it it's kind of like your iPhone and Android right you've got you got DeWalt you got uh, Makita you've got a, quite a few different brands that are out there that do this stuff but what you buy into a system that you know you're going to use then you're pretty much stuck with that system right you're, I'm going to have to be having these 18 volt batteries wherever I go all the time and which is fine so and I kind of like so the difference between these four amp hour four amp hour batteries are quite a bit heavier than these one and a halfs so I'll probably still keep using the one and a halfs on uh, my drills and, and things like that but the new my new uh, brad nailer that that thing needs a lot of power to run so that's one of the reasons I got the four amp hour batteries so I can use those and sometimes amazingly enough so I'm gonna have four batteries and there are times when I need all four batteries. So if I'm building something, I will have my, my circular saw, uh, one drill that will have a drill bit in it, one drill that will have uh, a screw tip, you know, Phillips tip in it. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna have the jigsaw, which will also need a battery, or I'll have the vacuum or something, because I'm vacuuming stuff as I go, kind of cleaning as I go as I need, because I have the vacuum <laughs> and stuff. So. So there's there's the batteries and the charger. Okay, so inside one of the other things that you get with this package and what they kind of use as uh, padding for the shipping on this is the Ryobi carry bag, which I open it up here. It's pretty nice. Uh, my other just has the one zipper that zips around the top. Um, my other tool that I bought many moons ago came with one, so I already have one, so that's going to be nice. I'll have two. I'll be able to label them, you know, for which one that you want. They fit a, a ton of stuff. I mean, I've got gloves in here. I've got, you know, staplers in here. I've got other tools and different things. These, you know, robo grip pliers and and stuff like that. Oh, here's my other battery. There we go. And, and stuff. And I got um, these are vacuum cleaner accessories that came with the vacuum and stuff from years ago. So I've got a lot of stuff that fits in these things. And it's nice just to be able to go and grab, you know, okay, I need to go do this job. Just grab this bag. And it's nice, soft sided, and just makes it pretty easy to carry around. So, okay, so we have a new bag for carrying all of this stuff. We'll just put everything in here right now. Put the charger in there, put all the batteries in there. See, it's loaded up with stuff. I got the, here's the old charger. So, I, so it fits everything in here pretty easy. Zips pretty nice. I really don't have much problem with the uh, zippers. Um, catching on these things they tend to for they tend to put a pretty big beefy I mean it's a tool bag right kind of thing so they tend to put good beefy you know zippers on them so there we go okay now next box next we've got this is the free tool that I got uh, there's a couple different ones um, some of the they actually have them in a row um, in my Home Depot there's actually an end cap where they have you know all the the batteries and then behind that um, is a just two rows of the tools and they're getting pretty low on the tools um, there's a pretty good assortment um, of what you can get um, a lot of the other ones a lot of drills and things like that which I already had I have two drills already so I didn't need another drill but I really did need kind of a jigsaw uh, for cutting stuff up the other other thing that I have to cut stuff with is my circular saw or my big reciprocating saw but I use my reciprocating saw a lot for um, pruning things which is very handy so all right let's crack this thing open let's see if this one's a little easier to open here we go okay so now we'll just take it in pour it right on out okay there we go uh, we do have our instruction manual, which is good, which I don't think the other 
Yeah, there's an instruction manual inside the battery thing. I just didn't see it. It's down there. So they do give you one blade in here to cut stuff with, which is nice. I'd hate to get it and not be able to cut anything right away. So uh, let me pull this out. Here we go. So this has different uh, adjustments on it. You've got different speeds, pressures. It's got Speed match, which is their little cutting speed. One, you can go one, two, three, however fast you want to cut on here. There's this little lever here, it gives you the speed uh, and everything else. So it's pretty nice, fits the battery. So let's grab a battery. I'm sure. Pull out one of the new ones and put it in here. So it should. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't have the blade in. I'll have to find something to cut. It gets, it gets pretty heavy when you've got the battery, the big battery and everything else on it. Um, so I know I want to round off. There's a little arm that I put out here that holds the, uh, the end here. There's a little arm I have that holds the microphone. Once I put the, the extra strengthening on my table, it, uh, the, there was my microphone wouldn't attach to the table anymore so I had to put a piece of wood that sticks out that puts the microphone stand attaches to it um, I can actually show you over here so if I switch to camera so over here this is the, the microphone stand attaches to this piece of wood and I'd really like to round off these corners here it's just a piece of wood sticking out there and what I did to the table was this is just a piece of press wood that I had as my as my table and it kept it would sag and bow so I just had a piece of one by two that I got on the edges and put it all the way around and used my brad nailer nailed it from the top um, I should have put glue in it but I didn't, I didn't have glue right then when I was doing it but uh, now this table is like sturdy as anything so now that I've got that done so that's that's good now that I've you know slowly slow incremental changes you know to making things a little bit better you know wherever you are and that's really what you need to do even with your I guess things with your YouTube channels with anything that you're doing in life really is just slow incremental changes if you try and change something too fast or too much then your mind and your body basically reject it so that you don't want to do just like if you're if you're dieting you can't if you go and switch to a diet, right, you, that's not going to help you. Uh, it might help you in short term, but in the long run, you know, making a slow incremental change, cut one type of food out, cut another type of food out, change what other type of food you're eating. And then, you know, as you build that along, I mean, I stopped eating, stopped eating uh, any kind of red meat. Then I, then I stopped eating fish and then or stopped eating chicken. And then, you know, basically all I eat is fish and vegetables now. So it's, Gave up ice cream, which was really hard. Wow. But anyway, we've got new tools, and I'm sure that I will be building something very soon and be able to really try these things out and see how how they work. All right, well, that's the deal that you can... Oh, I did pick up a few other things. I picked up, you know, some glue, which I know I needed. Um, they had... Rabbi has these little countersink drill bits that let me countersink some my screw heads in and then I had to get a new square because I other one kind of got ruined um, and fell apart so a few things I'll be making something probably who knows maybe we'll make a workbench or something for the garage but uh, I'll video that and let everybody know let me watch that so all right well thanks for watching this some new tools for the shop take care